Yo, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Jay Boogie back with another video today on this magnificent Monday. I'm going to dive into real quick. Just go ahead and do another team analysis for the day. And that team is no other than the Phoenix Suns. Of course, we know their key players, no other than Kevin Durant, KD, and D Book, Devin Booker, and their X Factors. Uh, Bradley Beal and of course Grayson Allen and uh, I just want to go ahead and dive into talk about the first guy you already know who he is Durantula Slim Reaper Kevin KD Durant one of the best scorers in the NBA history one of the best mid-range shooters in the league and in the league history um this dude is incredible. He can score on all three levels. We know this. Um, especially for mid-range. He completely is like it's like a god tier type player when it comes to shooting mid-range shots. Dude is turn around fadeaway, stop pull-ups, shot you can name it all. Dude is that lethal in the mid-range. Literally. And he's seven feet. So it's like you really can't block his shot. Um of course, you know, got one of the best hezzy pull-ups in the league. I mean, if not the best hezzy pull-up, because he's been doing it ever since his OKC days. And uh, I feel like, you know, he's having another efficient scoring season. He's been pretty much healthy. Um, we know he's up in age. I think he's like 30, 34, 35, but he's still getting buckets like always. I mean, so be that consistent and that efficient your whole career. And to come back from an Achilles injury, I know how that feels. I had it. <laughs> uh, to come back from Achilles injury and still put up 25 plus points the next season, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, this dude is another smooth scorer, um, underrated finisher at the rim. Um, and he's got more consistent and more uh, – Efficient being an interior defender. Now I feel like he's getting that more wisdom on defense. Now he's getting older. He finally consistently can use his wingspan because, I mean, the dude is seven feet, six and eleven wingspan. You know, he, he he's literally that, he's literally that freaking nature. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like it's just gonna be uh, probably one of the more important postseasons for him because. You know, the Suns had a very up and down season. Uh, I feel like the best month of the season was back in January. They went like 11 and 5. That's when they started to pick things up. That's probably because uh, when Bradley Beal started being more available, things started to get more, you know, more consistent, more better. Uh, the next guy I want to talk about, no other than D Book, Devin Booker. Uh, this dude has evolved into mastering the mid-range game as well. Uh, Camden Leeds is known to shooting threes, but his offensive game is more well-rounded now with the handling, with the uh, making consistent threes and taking smarter shots. And um, he's another guy that can finish at the rim too when he want, uh, when he needs to be aggressive. Um, I think his best scoring month was back in January, he, he was he was averaging 30. Um, I mean, it is it is incredible because, uh, I mean, the dude was averaging like 40% from the three-point line back in January. So I feel like January is when they really started to pick things up because this is when Grayson Allen started, uh, started kicking in, Raglan Bill became more available. You know, things like that, when you see that, you see a team vastly improved. And, and uh, showing their growth throughout the ups and downs of the season. Look at the Suns, because they were probably one of the better teams back in January. And look where they at now. So, uh, yeah, with Devin Booker, um, is uh, has the ability to take over games. Uh, we all know this, uh, especially in fourth quarter. Lock in, because, you, know, uh, you know, that elbow mid-range jump shot he got, he got that down, and he mastered it. I mean, he complete, completely mastered it, literally. Like, he, I mean, dude 
got a nice shooting form. Love his uniform. It's spectacular. <laughs> um, you know, uh, and then and then I think this season he's more involved with playing the point guard and he's putting up good numbers of passing and his teammates involved. I feel like that's uh a big crucial thing, you know, for the team because they don't have a true point guard. So I feel like Devin Booker involved himself in that and then he's being pretty much consistent with that the whole season. So he's pretty much gotten better being a facilitator for the team. Cause I mean, why not? Cause you got a guy like KD that can knock down shots, Greg Bill can knock down shots, and you got a three point sniper of Grayson Allen. So, I mean, hey, it's, it's a win-win in my opinion. <laughs> uh, then the third guy I want to talk about, been a fan of his since Washington, Bradley Bill. Uh, Starting off the, uh, this season with injuries, uh, up and down. But then, like I said, probably like around December-ish, up to January, things on the pickup form. Another guy, really more his best shooting is within the mid-range, but then he really can get going to three-point line. I mean, I mean, he comes to the league as a shooter, we know that. But here's another three-level scorer, because when he play aggressive, he can give you some posterizations too. Sneaky bounce. Uh <laughs> that's for sure. Uh you know, I I'm 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 proud that he's uh solidified to picking up being that third option. Still putting up important numbers for the team, for the Suns, because they need they're gonna definitely need that in the postseason. Um another guy uh that can play the point guard too, him and D book, it's a good match because they both can handle, and then they can facilitate, and when they need to score, uh, they can score, and they give you buckets when needed. Um, and I feel like with Bradley Bill, I just feel like just being healthy, being available, kind of like guys like Kawhi, Paul George, those type of players, just being available, staying healthy, and then it just make a good impact. Um, you know, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then lastly, another important player on the team that became important, Grayson Allen. Man, when I tell you, because he played for my team, the Grizzlies, we know this dude can shoot the ball, but now when he got traded to the Suns, it's like he just evolved into to one of the more lethal three-point shooters in the league, and that's due to just off-season workouts, training, putting in the work, repetition. Once you've been consistent with that, everything is so easy and everything is just flowing. Flowing. <laughs> um, you know, he's still showing athletic ability, still can finish at the rim, do some good dunks here and there. Um, but, man, floor space with him, Bradley Beal, and KD, how can you stop that, bro? Because you, you, you double team D book, you can't leave KD open. You double team KD, can't leave KD, uh, <coughs> can't leave uh, Bradley Bill open or D book or Grayson Allen. So I feel like that ball move is gonna be key. And um, you know he's uh, uh, Grayson Allen has definitely come into his own identity now, full identity of what he is and what he can be. Now he's playing with the Suns and he has evolved to a three point sniper. And I love it because once you, when players like that show you the work they put in and they evolve their game, it's spectacular to see. So, I feel like for the Suns heading to the postseason, I feel like guys like Nurkic, he's going to have to be aggressive consistently going to begin guys like AD, Sabonis, or Jokic. Um, Eric Gordon, another guy, 3 and D, knock down point three when it's needed. I feel like Role players. I feel like role players, ball movement, and consistent and being committed on defense is key for them to make a postseason run. So that's my talk for today for the Suns. If you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever. I love you guys. Let's keep this channel growing. Jay Boogie is out.